All right, what's up, everybody? It's time is 17.30, 5.30 for my civilians, and today's date is January 30th, 2020. I think tomorrow's the last day, I think, for the month of January. Anyways, I just got through filming the skies, and um, there is some phenomenal stuff going on up there. But um, normally, um, it's Saturday, so, you know, it is what it is. I, I want to do a face to face real quick because I had a crazy dream this morning like all my life my dreams have meant something they they usually are a real life event um as much as I look up at the sky y'all probably think this guy just freaking is all over the sky um not really I make music um you know I got family I have to worry about I got other projects I work on so I always know that the sky's moving. I understand that, the fundamentals of that. Uh, but I don't lust over it and just lose my mind over it. Like a lot of people, I'm, I'm very logical. And I try to keep my uh, my logic in balance with my emotions, my common sense, my intellect, uh, and spirituality and all that. So I ne never let any one supersede the other. Uh, just like if I met a famous person like I've met plenty of famous people I don't flip out and be like oh my god ugh, look at that dude it's like yo what's up dude you know what I'm saying what's up girl and we keep going because they are human beings like me they just got a little bit more money a lot more money and a lot more prestige and everybody knows them and I always say to myself even if I was rich I wouldn't want to be famous because I like to go to Walmart to the mall and hang out spend my money you know walk out somewhere and I don't want mobs of people chasing me but I say that to say this I had a dream this morning which shook me up a little bit and my dreams rarely shake me up give me a second cut my radio off I don't let dreams shake me up too much and I weigh them but this one kind of shook me because um, I've been hearing something about NASA or somebody supposed to make us aware of these uh, spatial beings that have been on the planet since before the biblical days that I'm pretty sure God has a lot to do with and I'm not surprised as a sentient being myself um, but the dream was I was back at my parents house and I was there with my family and um, on the side door of my parents house there's like the kitchen area and it's a big kitchen our kitchen is the my parents' kitchen is the biggest room in the house and it leads out to the car porch where the cars are on the side and then there's a long hallway going down the house like a rectangle and then rooms branch off so in the dream i was a dream like i'm back at my parents house when a real life event is about to occur in this dream um i heard something pass over my head like a chopper like a helicopter sounds. Yeah, everybody knows how the helicopter sounds. Sound like a military helicopter. And uh, I'm from North Carolina, from the Fort Bragg area, and that's like the biggest base on the East Coast. And my dad was stationed there for like off and on 23 years total. Uh, so I know how military works, and plus with myself being a Marine. But the thing is, I don't really get too hyped up or too concerned when choppers fly over my house unless there's like a war going on. Uh, I have had too many of those experiences in garrison on the base and off in the war zone where planes fly over low over, over where I'm at and uh, they kind of just buzz the area but the thing is in this dream it sounded like a chopper flying over like doo -doo 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 -doo. and then there was this like br like brash high pitched shriek of a noise like something like that and it just kept repeating repeating mechanically so in the dream I walked from the hallway Pass through the kitchen, big kitchen, to the side door, and there's woods besides my parents' car porch. And with that, um, there was this UFO landing, and I didn't get too caught up in the UFO. Now I, I knew that I was dreaming the whole time, so at this point, I'm trying to make sense of my dream. So a UFO lands in the woods, and it's like clearing out a section of the woods, and the UFO is luminescently lit up, like those little night lights, like neon lights. And I swear to you, the colors were coming down from blue, white in the middle, to red. Red, white, and blue. And I associate the colors with America because, you know, the UFO had those colors and it was, you know, kind of flickering up and down. 
and it was flashing from right to left like a wave uh, from my right to my left as I'm facing it um, with the red, white, and blue. And I'm, I've, I'm, I've started drawing a picture up of the UFO as it was coming down. Uh, actually, it had landed. And then I step outside to get a closer look at the UFO in my dream. In my dream. And then uh, my door behind me locks me out. So I go around to the front door. And as I get to the front door, the front part of my parents' house, they got a front door where they're what they call the living room. It's a really nice looking room. And I walk in and all the lights off in the house there and Zoe for no power. So I'm flicking on the switches. I see one of my family members sitting on the couch sleep. And uh, so I walk through the den and I walk back into the kitchen from where I just came out of and click the lights. Lights over this side. I click the lights, no lights. So I look straight ahead and there's a microwave in the back window on the back side of the wall. And I swear to God, I see this alien. It was all gold, like bright gold skin and jet black eyes uh, standing up with his hand on the counter of my parents' house. And I took one step advancing toward it because it's like, you're, you're in my parents' house. We're about to fight. And for you to cut the lights off and kill the power in the house, you're a threat to my parents' house. That's, that's how I was perceiving that. Not, it, I didn't feel peaceful. Uh, with that situation so there's a big wood table that seats six in my parents' house had it, they've had it since I was uh, in my single digits and it still was brand new and I stepped around the table grabbed a chair and threw it at the, the alien invader and uh, it had ducked up under the table and the chair missed it and then I jumped up out of my dream because I had kind of lurched for it like I was about to whoop it so I kind of analyzed that dream trying to figure it out and um, I started thinking deeper. That was a metaphorical dream for what's about to go down in this country and around this world. Because it took home, took place at my parents' home. My parents' home is the first soil of earth that I've touched. I was born into that house. So from everything that flows out from that foundation represents the earth from their house. Home representing America. Home country. Uh, as far as the way that... Uh, the craft came in sounded like a military chopper and then it touched down and uh the, it looked like a standard saucer you know dome shape uh the bottom was kind of flat like you know like your regular flying saucer and it's colors were red white and blue our american flag the american flag and then you know uh i get locked out of my parents home from one side I had to enter from another that was already unlocked and the lights were off which means power got cut so when this situation goes down where they make us aware of whatever these beings are they're gonna cut power to America so that we can look up in the sky and see some kind of awesome anomaly um, and then there's gonna come a threat of some kind of false messiah type God alien uh, pretending that it's our sovereign and this is uh, spoken about in a way biblically but not speaking of it as in aliens but speaking of it as in fallen angels with the false god come proclaiming himself um, our god before the real god comes and that false god is going to be working hand in hand with America and that's why that saucer was flashing red white and blue because America is going to be hatching a plan with these so-called foreign invaders which are nothing more than fallen angels to um, make themselves known to us but they're gonna kind of invade us just like they're doing you know with just all this chaos they're doing there is a hidden agenda going on in this country going on around the world and that's what my parents' home represented it it's gonna be at home and back in uh their little, the town that they live in which you know the foundation represents the earth soil because the, the earth is connected to that foundation of that home this is my home and the world is connected to my parents' home if you look at it on a broader scale no matter where we live everybody's homes are connected through the earth so the reason why I'm bringing that out um, 
my dreams usually come true. And the reason why my dreams come true, because I dreamt about my oldest son before he was even created. And I saw him with a big old curly fro and he was really yellow when he was born. And he was really like long and he was born as that. I saw my daughter when I was way in Iraq a whole year and a half before she was created. And she was my complexion, a little bit darker with sharp eyes. She has very sharp and beautiful eyes. Uh, kind of like my eyes were real sharp in a woman's format. And I saw her before she was born and I've had a lot of dreams uh, come into fruition. Uh, I've had dreams where I had people trying to attack me, but they were in the form of uh, two killer whales. They were black and white. <clears throat> and I remember climbing up on a rock out of the ocean, and this was back in 2012 when I was um, on the Navy ship, the USS Gunson Hall. And at the time, my ass of a lieutenant was after me trying to get me get my rank taken because she didn't like the fact that I was a sergeant and unfortunately she was of uh, a hateful mindset of being a supremacist and she didn't like the fact that I was the only so-called black sergeant in charge of a lot of Caucasian marine brothers like some people are like that it's not because I'm saying it like I've witnessed some evil people in the, the military who think that you don't deserve to be in charge of them and because we all got to follow the rank protocol i've had a lot of people get offended for, you know at me just for being who i was and i was always a very professional individual uh as a marine i didn't bring the hood with me you know what i mean like some people can't get away from the hood they got to use the hood to make themselves seem famous or hype when they're in the military and i've dealt with a lot of people like that also so, you know, I don't really think about this race thing because I'm universal. I have a great grandfather who's Irish, as in white Irish. My youngest son looks like him. I saw a picture of him. He's short, little, tough looking Irish guy. Uh, my mother's mother was Cherokee Indian. My grandfather's mother is, uh, no, my grandfather's mother was Cherokee and Mexican. She's from Mexico City. My grandmother's mother on my mother's side my mother's yeah my grandmother's mother was a Cherokee Indian my father's side of the family looked like the native Indians mixed with black so it's definitely running through me um and I, I'm not saying like you know like I'm universal and you know so I can understand all races now I don't judge you by your skin color um I'm gonna judge you by your spirit and if you're like an evil acting black white Asian Arabian, Indian, Native, whatever, then then I don't I don't have time to deal with you. I stay away from you. And you know, I got white friends that uh and black friends and Indian friends and Asian friends. I love them all. Uh inside and outside the military. So that stuff don't really run through my head like that. All I'm saying is um something's about to go down in America. We all know it's coming. The Bible speaks about it coming. And uh, brace yourselves. I'm just giving y'all this story. I really don't like giving stories. I'm probably a bad storyteller. But there's a message with my story uh, to make you aware of, like, the reason why I watch the sky because I'm just seeing a whole lot of differences. And I'm not looking for anything like all of a sudden we're going to be joining some kind of alien forces. Because um, my understanding is that the only being that's going to save us is God. Um, there's more to God's story than just the Bible. That's just one part of it. A lot more went on on the planet than we all know. So, you know, all these hidden accounts and stories that are not told of past civilizations, you know, that they won't tell us about. That included some other different species of beings that lived on Earth before uh, man got his elevation, uh, his technological movement. So... You gotta do the research. I'm doing the research now. I'm always reading, always researching all across the internet, Googling, YouTube. And I don't believe everything I hear, but I research what I can find. There's a lot more that I know that I can't really go into right now. It's too much. It's too much. I have to write a freaking book, but there are already books written, so they don't need my input. But um, that's just a little story I'm bringing to y'all. So please watch, like, subscribe, and share. Um, take care of your families because. Uh, things are about to get ridiculous in the next three years 3.5 years
All right, so we is out of here for the day. I done got enough of the sky watch and I just lost my stinking remote <laughs> to my phone. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna have to reach up and cut this off. So we out of here, poof. Yeah, this is the remote I was talking about. It's a little cool remote that I don't have to touch my phone when I record. So with that, <laughs> we poofing up out of here. All right, please watch, like, subscribe, and share. Poof.